It's Saturday on the island of Socotra, Yemen. Rebels of the Southern Transition Council, or STC, have just reclaimed the strategic post. Located off the Horn of Africa and 350 kilometers from Yemen, the island was in the hands of pro-government forces, allied with the military coalition led by Riyadh. One of the separatist rebel leaders now says he's ready to discuss terms of an agreement. The Southern Transitional Council does not mind partnering with the Saudi-led coalition during this period to combat the Houthi militias. But our main goal at the SDC is to build institutions of a southern state and for a comprehensive dialogue to reinstate an independent southern state. In principle, the southern separatists and the government forces are allies within a joint military coalition fighting against Houthi rebels in the north of the country. But recent deadly sparring between the two camps in the south has opened up a new front in the conflict. In November 2019, a power-sharing agreement was signed between the STC and the government. A plan then presented by Saudi Arabia indicated a first step towards a political solution of the Yemeni conflict. But a few months later, the STC accused government of not fulfilling its obligations. On the 26th of April this year, the separatists based in Aden then proclaimed autonomy of the south. The latest ceasefire means that separatists and the government could yet find a solution to suspend this war within a war. It may also pave the way for a desperately needed break in a conflict which has caused tens of thousands of deaths and is responsible, according to the UN, for the worst humanitarian crisis in the world.